I'm Judy Crane, and today I'm going to be talking about how to overlap shapes to create interest in a painting and to create depth. I have all my palette all set out here, and if you'd like to see how I do it, please check out my starter set video at jerryzartorama.com. So let's get started. I have here three very simple objects, lemon, pear, apple, and this is pretty boring. Um, I want to show you how just by overlapping shapes we can create some depth and making much more interesting composition. So whether you're looking at a landscape or looking at um, uh, a still life, any kind of objects, especially if you set them up yourself, be sure and place them so that they're interesting. Overlap the shapes so that they have um, a connection. So let's take this same pair and we'll put the pair here. So let's just quickly fill in the shape of the pair. And then, let's add our lemon. And let's overlap that over the pear down here. So here we have our lemon. Overlapping the pear. And let's put our apple back behind it. Now the whole idea here is that we want to have a relationship between these three pieces of fruit and that they should have some sense of space. So we'll set our apple back here behind the pear. And the bottom of the apple has to sit back a ways because it needs to look like it's actually sitting behind this pear, as does the lemon in the front. So, and we'll get this a little darker here. Here's our pear. Now, these things now start to have interest. They have a relationship to each other. You can add some shadows to these things, uh, create more interest. But by just taking the objects that you want to use, putting them one in front of the other, it, you could have another object sitting out here that wouldn't necessarily have to touch but it would feel like it's sitting out here as long as these are overlapped and uh, perhaps a shadow would attach this object to this object. So design your painting and get depth and interest by overlapping the shapes and setting them back on the plane. You can't have them overlapped and have them all sitting on the same plane. They have to be stepped back along the bottom. Hope that gives you an idea of how to set up a still life or work with fruit. And if you would like to see a full-length DVD working with these kind of concepts, um, that will be available too. Thank you.